G'day everybody, it's Eric Cartman from Supertech Electronics and today we're going to remove a stereo from Mercedes GL350. Now, the tools you will need today is a plastic spudger and a Torque 20 screwdriver. And we'll get started. First part we're going to remove is this plastic surround here. Ours is all loose for video purposes. You'll need to get your spudger under it and remove it. It is held in with some clips and they can be quite strong at times so you'll need to spudge that out evenly around it so you don't break it. We'll put that aside for the time being. Next time, next part we need to remove is the air vent assembly. Now once again we're going to get our spudger in and release the clips and we're just going to let that sit down there for the time being. This is where the Torque 20 screwdriver comes in handy. These guys here will be pushed up and they'll both have a screw through them, a Torque 20 screw. You'll need to remove the screw then pull them down. Once they're pulled down, the stereo will come out. And in the back of it will be some electrical connections. Now they are all keyed, so you can't get them in the wrong spot. Now, the only tricky one is this guy here, you've got to pull that up and pull it towards the front of the car. Uh, all the rest of them are color coded and keyed, so they will only go back in one spot. And that unit is ready to send off to Supertech Electronics for repair. Now, you may have a screen issue, that's something else we can sort out for you. And to remove the screen, uh, this guy here will need to remove next. It is held in with two screws, two plastic screws. Uh, you'll need to remove those, and that'll make it loose enough for you to pull out. It is held in with clips, once again, and you'll need to pull against those to remove them. Now, from there we're held in with two Torque 20 screws and we'll want to remove those guys okay so once these guys are loose enough this screen will come out and it is held in with some electrical connections and once again they are keyed so they won't go in the wrong in the wrong spots and you can send that off to supertech electronics for repair